Hi guys, I'm Abby. Welcome to our 80s life. And welcome to this month's thrift haul where I share with you all of the 80s goodies I found at estate sales and thrift stores. Well, it's been a fun month of thrifting and I always look forward to these videos and sharing with you guys all the fun goodies that I found. And so let's start with probably my favorite is this guy. This is Braveheart Lion. He is an original 1984 Care Bears cousin. These were made by American Greetings and he is in excellent condition. He has his original tag here. He has his little Care Bear heart here on his bottom. <laughs> I found this sale that had a whole bunch of Care Bears and I couldn't take them all home. So there was a big basket. I just picked my favorite one and he was it. They say lions are the king of the jungle. We also found another king, check it out. It's the Burger King guy, the king from the Burger King, the Burger King. <laughs> you might recall in a previous haul, I got the Ronald McDonald version of this, so I thought that he would be really cute on the shelf next to Ronald, and I just love him. I will say the newer Burger King commercials I find very creepy, hey. but this guy's actually super cute. Speaking of creepy things, who remembers these masks? We used to put these up on our walls to decorate our rooms back in the 80s. I have no idea why, but uh, we thought those were really cool back in the day. Who had one of these? They're made of ceramic and I found this one at the Goodwill and it was uh, 99 cents. I think I'm going to spruce it up a bit. It looks like it could use some new ribbons, but I mean, for a buck, I figured it was worth it. And I definitely think that this one is authentic to the 80s. I also got some glassware this month. I got one mug. It's from the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles. And I thought that was pretty cool since the Olympics are coming up. And I got two Coke glasses. These are super cool because they are from Whataburger. I don't remember Whataburger having glassware, but they're especially cool because we grew up going to Whataburger in Texas, and that's kind of a Texas thing. They don't have them here. So it's unusual for me to find Whataburger collectibles here in Kansas. And on the other side, for some reason, it says cowboy. <laughs> I don't know if this was like cowboy cups or what, but it's also unique, I think, to find a Coke glass with a handle. They usually don't have the handle. So I thought these were unique and fun. And I only paid 50 cents each for these, which is quite a bargain. There were only two, so I bought whatever they had, paid a dollar for the pair. I picked up one Choose Your Own Adventure book this month. This is The Secret of the Ninja. Who else loved these books? They are so fun. I also got Garfield at large and a little Garfield for Christmas. Merry Christmas. Y'all know I love Garfield. He's so cute. And I got four VHS tapes. Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown. I used to love this whenever it was on TV. You know, kids back in the day, we had to wait until these shows came on TV and it was only once a year for the holidays. So the Charlie Brown specials were kind of a big deal, like for the Halloween one especially, and the Christmas one, and this one as well. And then before we got VCRs, of course, and then our world changed dramatically. But I also got these three, uh, this one's Kansas Underwater. You can see it has a Blockbuster logo. It was sponsored by our local news, which is the KSN News. I don't know what this is about, but I'm looking forward to watching it. Um, like a local news, I guess, documentary. And then these were where people had recorded movies off of TV. We have something called Hopscotch, which I don't remember. 
I thought this one was funny, Beetlejuice, but they didn't spell it right. And Rain Man. Remember when we were in Las Vegas and we went and found the filming locations for Rain Man? That was really fun. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it. You should definitely check it out. Okay guys, who remembers the shirt tails? I've talked about them before. I remember really liking them in the 80s. And look, you guys, I found the cutest shirt tails twin sheets. They are so cute. They have all the little characters on. Look at the skunk. Isn't he the cutest? These are adorable. And kids' sheets in this good of condition are kind of hard to find. I know there are people out there that like to get them for craft projects. I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. I'll probably end up selling them, but I just thought they were adorable and quite a find. I've actually never seen these before. In addition to the sheets, I found a couple of fabric scraps that were from the 80s. This wild pattern with the fluorescence. It's still got a tag on it. Here's the original tag. It looks like this person paid $2.47 for this piece of fabric. Do you guys remember this? This is so funny. Um, whenever we would sew appliques, onto our clothes. So this is called Butterflies in Bloom Appliques. And it comes with the directions of how to put them on. You could put them on your sweatshirt or your denim jacket like the one I shared on Instagram the other day if you were following us on Instagram. Anyway, you would cut these out and then you could either like iron them on or you could use an adhesive. And then we used to use a slick paint or glitter paint, like those little shirt paints, and we would paint around them. I thought this was hilarious. I don't know why. I just thought it was so funny that that was a trend. And maybe it'll make a comeback. Who knows? I got two pairs of shoes. First off, these are Hanes Ladies Slippers from 1980s, still in the original packaging. They're pretty in pink. It's always fun to find things still in the box. And then these, you guys, these just spoke to me. I actually found these at the Goodwill and they're in really good condition. Look at that. The soles have a little wear and tear, but not much. They're in really good condition. They need laces. These are OP Velcro high tops with the funkiest 80s colors. I just, I love these. I wished that they would fit me, but they're one size too big. So I have tiny feet, but someone will enjoy these and I just couldn't leave them there at the Goodwill. They're too cute. And for a dollar, this bag that had some little items for my dollhouse. I haven't forgotten about that project. I'm getting ready to begin working on that. And I think with a little paint and some creativity, this cabinet will be really cute in the dollhouse and it also has some little cups as well. Lastly, some games. I got two board games. This one is called Blockhead. Does anybody remember playing this in the 80s? I do not, but it was made in 1982 and it just looks like fun. It's kind of like Jenga, except the pieces are irregular. You have to stack them and keep it from falling. So I'm sure Keith and I will have fun with this. He'll probably have more fun than I will because I don't really like these kind of building games, but he loves them. My find of the month. How many of you guys wished you could be on Double Dare? I know I did. Y'all, the Double Dare Home Edition, how fun is this? And it's in really good condition. This game was made by Pressman in, in fact, both of the games that I got today were made by Pressman and um, it was dated 1987. I'll just show you guys real quick what it looks like on the inside. There you go. Whoop. It still has the directions of how to play the game. It has these cards that are still in the plastic that's never been used. It has a timer, which works. All the cards, these little hoops and balls and helmets that you put on your head and 
you kind of have to put these things together, but this is gonna be fun. <laughs>